Hello, my little maniacs. We're just waiting on this loading screen here just to get out of my way so I can um, do the video. Any second now, thank you very much. Hope Springs Eternal Bundle, no thank you. Here we go. Alright, welcome back, maniacs. As always, before we get to today's video, let me tell you about that lovely sponsor, Blue Stacks. Blue Stacks, check out that link in the description. Help support me and support the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button, like the video on the road to 500 subscribers by the, hopefully the end of January, of Feb, maybe February, March? March. Let's go March. By the end of March, get on the road to 1,000 subscribers would be absolutely insane we're already at 355 that would be absolutely crazy to do but as always guys like subscribe comment down below and let's get into the video so in today's video we're going to be continuing talking about the lovely institute of the plasma so obviously there's three different rains so i'm going to do three different videos talking about each lovely little lane so that way you guys can understand about each one and be able to go into it so obviously first thing obviously I have already done one so I'm gonna do this one so each one's gonna get their own video so obviously strategic dispatch as I talked about is gonna be very useful to you because it increases the number of troops you can send in one March and the max one's gonna be obviously 1000 it requires your plasma Institute to only be level one though so that's gonna be very key in this obviously you're gonna to want to max out all of your marches as quickly as possible just because more troops be helpful in different battles and whatnot so that way you can be at full strength quicker and have more troops because you know one troop can be the difference between winning a raid and losing a raid hold on i'm gonna light my candle real quick but anyway guys this is definitely something i recommend just doing so that way you can just get it out of the way nice and early candle didn't light so that's depressing but this is just something I definitely recommend getting out of the way early so that way you can just have it done and over with. This way you can have your the most troops and the most bane for your buck as soon as you possibly can. But anyway guys, so what we're going to talk about is obviously this tier up here. So obviously this one obviously increases so you can have a max power of 600,000. Obviously the max troop capacity is 1,000. Obviously, this is definitely something that you're going to want to go quickly just because obviously this is going to be very helpful for you as a player. And then obviously for your two different lanes, you obviously it splits off from there into two different lanes. The first is Electric Shock for your riders, which increase the lethality of them. Obviously, this is going to be very helpful if you are an attacking player versus a defensive player. But let's take a look at it. So at level 1, it increases your power to 95,630. And it increases the lethality to 1.7%. This is going to be very helpful, obviously, in the long run. It has 8 levels, as you can see out by the 0 out of 8. Level 1 is 1.7. Level 2 is 3.6. Level 3 is 5.9. Level 4 is 8.5. Level 5 is 11.6. Level 6 is 15.1. Level 7 is 19.2, and level 8 is 24%. Obviously, this is something that's definitely going to be very helpful in the long run. Obviously, because if you're an attacking player, or you're participating in events like Capital, event, Capital um, Alliance Showdown, this is obviously going to help to increase your power overall, and be able to help defeat the enemy a lot easier than if it was a lot lower. Oh, this is definitely going to be something very helpful for you. And then the other one, which I do like the look of this one just because it's literally tires and I think Athena armor and then some gears. And it represents your power upgrade, which increases the health of your rider. So basically what this picture is saying is we're going to increase your tires. We're going to increase your gears. We're going to increase your equipment. You're going to increase your side. And so that way you are as strong as you possibly can get. And we're going to do it right. This has eight levels as well. First level increases your battle power by 95,630. Your rider health goes up by 1.7%. Institute of Plasma goes to level 1. Strategic Dispatch, level 3. Plasma it requires level... F f it, it requires 41 of 20. It's obviously going to be something very important. And for your levels, at level 1 is 1.7. 
Level 2 is 3.6. Level 3 is 5.9. Level 4 is 8.5. Level 5 is 11.6. Level 6 is 15.1. And then level 7 is 19.20. And finally, at level 8, at your max level that you can possibly get it, it is 24%. So obviously, this is going to be helpful if you are more of the defensive player. You like to defend your base. You like to be stronger on the defensive side of things. Obviously, this is what I would recommend just to increase your health and get that up as high as you possibly can in order to be able to defend your base more effectively. And then obviously, for the third tier here you have to get each one of these before you can be able to do it so this first one obviously would match up with this one which has 12 levels and it is the electric shot which I do like it is a picture of the guys actually with their guns and on their bikes so I do like that but anyway level one it increases your battle power to 111,009 rider attack is 1.8 requires institute of plasma level 3 so probably that other tier it's going to require you to go to level two at some point before you continue with your research and it requires electric shock to be level six so it doesn't even require it to be maxed out it requires it to be level six but i 100 percent recommend maxing everything out just to help be at your very best that you possibly can be at so level one it obviously we talked about those already level one it increases to 1.8 level two is 3.8 and then we get a little jump to level three it's six percent Level 4 is a little bit of a bigger jump to 8.5. And then we get to level 5, which is 11.2. Level 6 is a 14.2% increase. And level 7 is 17.5. Level 8 is 21.2. Level 9 is 25.2. Level 10 is 29.7. Level 11 is 34.6. Level 12, at the highest level it can go, is 40%. Obviously, you're going to want to get this as soon as possible if you are an attacking player. Just so that way you can be at the very best you can possibly be and be able to hit hard, especially during events like Capital, Reservoir, Raid, and during Alliance Showdown. Obviously, all of those, this would help greatly improve your chances of winning in those. And then on the other side of the thing, we have the Power Barrier, which increases the defenses of your riders, which I really love the image of this one because it makes it actually look like it's... a actual barrier around your vehicle protecting it so i do like that it also requires your plasma to be level three requires your power to be level six does not require it to be max but again like previously obviously max it and level one increase your battle power to 111,009. i'm obviously not sure of how high it would go just because of everything considered and a rider defense is 1.8 percent institute of plasma is level three required obviously and then it has 12 different levels obviously represented by the 0 out of 12 level 1 is 1.8 level 2 3.8 level 3 6 level 4 is 8.5 level 5 11.2 level 6 is 14.2 level 7 17.5 level 8 21.2 level 9 gets a nice little upgrade by 4% to 25.2 then level 10 obviously also gets a nice little upgrade to 29.7 level 11 to 34.6 then level 12 gets a nice big upgrade to 40%, which obviously is the biggest change here. And then obviously the power barrier increases the defenses of your riders. But then in between them we've got rally capacity, which obviously it increases, improves the amount of chief rally capacity, which I've talked about, that you can have. At first, it requires plasma level 4, and it requires power and electric shock to both be level 6, so again, not max i definitely recommend max and just to be more balanced of a player and obviously if rally capacity is 1.5 so level 1 is 1.5 level 2 is 3.1 level 3 5k level 4 7k level 5 9.3k level 6 11.8k level 7 14.5k level 8 17.6k level 9 20.9k Level 10, 24.7k. Level 11, 28.8k. Level 12, 33.3k. Obviously, this is definitely something that you're definitely going to want to max out as soon as possible, especially if you're involved in Capital Clash, and if you're a rally lead, or even your trap. Just because you want to have the biggest rally po cap you can possibly have. Now we can include more troops and be able to easily be... Have, oh my god, what's the word I'm looking for? 
have be easier for you to be able to defeat your enemies and win the battles in order to be able to win said events. So obviously all of these are required, this third tier, to get the awesome almighty Pulse Predator. So this requires Plasma level 5, it requires your Power Barrier to be level 12, your Rally Capacity to be level 12, and your Electric Shock to be level 12. I also believe once you unlock it here, you also have to be have your bar barracks and all that f stuff to star 5 before you can actually unlock them there. I do believe that is the case. That was it in the PTR, but I'm not sure if they have changed that or not. But anyway. So obviously the Institute of Plasma level 5 is required. And it increases your battle power to 7.5 million. Which would be absolutely mental, but obviously that obviously has a long research time at 79 days 24 minutes and 34 seconds so obviously that is a very long wait just to unlock pulse predators but again it would be the work just because they're so going to be so powerful and useful to you obviously there's a lot of tiers so there's a lot of different options of what to upgrade first and you might be a little bit confused like i don't know what to upgrade first like you don't know I personally say it depends on your attack strategy, your style of play, what you are as a player. Like me personally, I'm more of a balanced player, so I'm going to obviously balance everything out. This is obviously on Def's account, so I'm not going to make any decisions for him. He's going with the merge capacity first, obviously, because, you know, merge capacity is obviously very important. But if you're more of the attacking player, you like going out in PvP and other players, you're heavily involved in Reservoir Raid, stuff like that, I'd obviously recommend this lane here that increases your attack and your lethality just because you can get that up very highly before having to worry about it and then you can have extreme high lethality and extremely high attack so that way you can be able to eliminate enemy troops quicker and more effectively and be able to win battles quicker but if you're more of the player like myself like others that are more defensive you'd like to be able to just gather you don't like attacking other players unless you have to I would recommend this bottom tier because it increases your health and increases your defense, which is very key for the survival of your city. So if you're one that likes that gets raided a lot during KE, you're not powerful enough to be able to do this. Obviously, I recommend the power upgrade just because it increases your health, it increases your defenses to be able to protect your base, protect you, and protect your resources. Obviously, rally capacity is do it as you can, just because that is very helpful during like capital clash trap. And any other event, if you're doing a rally against someone else, or infected fiend, or even the um, plague zones, obviously this definitely would be helpful, just because it helps you to increase your health, and it would definitely be very helpful to be able to do that. But anyway, guys, that's really all that there is with this. Um, where's the exit? Oh, got the exit out. But that's that tier basically all wrapped up. Obviously, this priority might change based on what your st strategy is. Obviously, I'd focus on one tier at a time, but if you're more of the player that you know what you like to do, obviously prioritize it the way you need to do it. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not already. On the road to 500. Hopefully going to be on the road to 1,000 soon. And as always, guys, like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think of today's video, and I will answer any questions possible. Also, um, keyword for today, let's just do um, rider. Rider, R I D E R. Just so we can have something down there and I can know you made it to this point in the video. As always, guys, like, subscribe, comment down below, and let me know if you enjoyed today's video with a like or a comment, and I will let and I'll answer any questions possible and, or make another video if needed to explain stuff further. As always, guys, I will see all of you guys later. Stay crazy, fam.